Hello, Cancers. How are my little opposite crabby moody folk doing this beautiful day? Just kidding. Just kidding. It is time for your mid-April to May reading of this current year. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so there's going to be reading for two people, right? So we can see you and the person you're dealing with. Huzzah. Hello, Fatness. What are you doing, my fat kitties? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm still bothering you. Yeah. He was sick for a minute, but he's feeling better now. You eat your tender little nugget. Peace. Oh, these are upside down. All right. So we're going to start with a group one, of course. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Let's begin. Group one, we have for you. You made a wish, and you're going to get wish fulfillment. Hell yeah. Look at you. Ah, already good ones. Gemini seemed like they were going through. Yeah, okay. Uh, Knight of Swords, reverse. In the wants and wishes. Fears and rejections, two of cups. The situation is judgment. I feel like you guys are trying to resurrect something, and that's what you're wishing for. Or you just want a good judgment call, right? <clears throat> Six of Swords, and what's going against you is obstacles and challenges. Catalyst as well as the final result. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgus. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I tried to say Taurus and Virgo at the same time, and I'm not sure how that sounded coming out of my mouth. But, you know, two seconds. Okay. And the beginning theme is Ten of Cups. Happiness. Completion. Yay. That happily ever after with family, friends, lovers, everyone is just content. There are the kid running around with the stick. I don't know how that'll end. Hopefully he doesn't go and get his or someone else's eye knocked out because it is a little boy. And we all know little boys are. You just want to beat shit with their sticks. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's get started. Group one. <clears throat> Wish fulfillment might have something to do with getting out of a headspace that you might got, right? Oh, yep. And you might be snooping and sneaking and spying and all that shit, which probably isn't the best intention. Might be stalking somebody. That's like a stalker card. Could be an Aquarius. A Libra or fuck. Gemini. That's the third one. Gemini. Yes. Could be any of them, but someone is in the energy of snooping. Someone might be going on social media to look at people's stuff. Someone um, might be hoping that they'll find something that'll give them a wish fulfillment. You know, something that'll make their dreams come true, right? Down here in the situation, we have judgment. <laughs> What? Someone wants to resurrect something that they were sneaking about? Sneaking away from? Like, you want to resurrect something that, um... You... Tried to get away with something? Or you're trying to verify the judgment of someone else trying to get away? Like, what? What is this? Um... Like, you're wishing you'd find something bad on somebody just to justify why you got away or justify why they got away from you, or... It's almost like the fucking divine play thing right here. Just looking for shit to make yourself feel... Like, if, if someone's in that energy of, um... Trying to find things that verify something for them, I don't think this is how it's done. In fact, I think this is not helping to verify anything except maybe... I don't know. It's like sticking or moving on the calmer waters is what's going against you. The six of swords. Like, look at this. Everything is on fire and you're trying to get away. Like, you did nothing to do with it. But it's just kind of like, how did you know to get away when no one else did? I mean, that's the energy right here with the seven of swords, too. It's like you're trying to get away without anybody knowing about the fire. Because that's all I'm getting. And it's like you're looking 
for a witch to help verify this bad intention of looking for information to justify why you didn't set fire to the place you're trying to escape from? Group one, you're kind of like Jake. Just saying. Um, your wants and wishes. Knight of Swords, right? He's running away instead of running towards the battle. Running towards a breakup, more or less. But not really saying anything at all. Like, ghosting, almost, right? That's bad karma. That has something to do, possibly, with Libra, Leo, things. Like, if you're trying to run away from, like, your responsibilities, that's not the best idea. Um, trying to run away, like... You know, the page of swords is here looking at, like, this justification. Or looking for reasons to run away, which isn't the, really, the right... It, it, it's a lack of closure. That's not the right thing to do. Definitely. Bad karma. Judgment's karma, too. What's going against you with this moving on the calmer waters after setting the building on fire? Um, needing to make a choice. That's what's going against you. Like, you can either choose to break up or you could choose to keep wishing for some bad news about somebody in order to got, like, Page of Swords, Messenger, very impulsive. Um, definitely somebody who likes to gossip and spread, like, not so nice things, right? And they're looking over here at this um, justice card where they aren't really saying anything at all. Like, they're both reversed. They're both going this way towards this breakup, which is the fear. So it's kind of like all of this right here is leading up to, like, the Two of Cups reversed right here. It's leading up to the breakup regardless. Yet, you're already on your way to get away from it. So it's just kind of like, why are you afraid of breaking up with someone if you're already trying to leave? Two of Cups reversed. That's the breakup. You're afraid of this breakup, though. You're afraid of the separation. Which I don't know why, because you're already pretty much there. You're afraid when you break up, you're going to find something better or better joy, or the person you're leaving is going to... Be able to walk away without worrying about... Like, is that what this is? You're looking... Is somebody looking to see if someone misses them? To, um... Say, oh, well, they got away because they were doing this, 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 and this. But in reality, it's like... I was, like, pushing somebody away in order to justify your own, um... Uh, Illusions, almost. I'm surprised I don't see the moon here. Because, like, you know, at least it was speaking of illusions, but it's just like someone's almost trying to convince themselves that someone walking away and not giving a fuck. Um, it, that's like the fear, but it's like you're someone's doing that shit intentionally. With the judgment and the seven of swords. But not saying anything, and they know that that's not the right thing to do. Like, they don't want this person leaving fulfilled, but they're not going to say anything to keep, like, to keep that... Like, if they do come up and say something, it's going to be negative. Because that's what the Page of Swords is doing, group one. Like, if this isn't you and you're dealing with this person, like, but I, but this is supposed to be you. So, I digress. But group one, um, you can't not say how you really feel about something, but go out of your way to justify why things happen. Like, you can't just go and look for information in order to fulfill your wish when you're intentionally going out of your way to cause these things to happen. Like, yeah, Judgment Card's right. This is being resurrected, this sneaking away, but I don't know who is actually sneaking away because it's like someone's driving someone to do this. Then with this King of Pentacles right here, the beginning and the end, his home. He's got the door open. He's got an offering. Look at this offer. This is King of Pentacles shit. This is top grade, like, Pentacles shit. This is top grade, like, cocaine, I guess. Like, straight from a hooker's butt, you know? And he's got the door open. That's the catalyst as well as the final result. Like, you're wanting to see if this person 
who I guess is a provider figure. Could be Capricorn Taurus Virgo, but it's like you're wanting to see if this person still has an offering to open the door to you. Even though it seems like It really feels like someone's just going out of their way to push somebody out just so they can go back and be like, see, I told you, I told you they were this, I told you they were that. That's what it feels like to me. Like someone wants their wish to come true on all the shit they said about somebody, but they don't realize that there's judgment against what they did and what they're trying to do. Like people see them sneaking around. People see what they're doing. Like, if you think that nobody notices that you're being a little sneakster, you're wrong because you left two swords behind. And now here comes the decision with that, where you have to go. That's why those swords were left behind. He's looking back, looking at this shit, didn't realize this bitch picked up the swords in order to make a decision. Good job. <laughs> Alright, maybe that was a little bit too sarcastic. That's my bad. You could probably use the Xbox as a CD player too. True. I never thought about that. Because I just now thought about it. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Ending theme. Someone lost their patience when it came to this home. Yeah, someone lost their patience. Someone didn't want to communicate. Somebody didn't want to join together in this. Someone didn't want to cooperate anymore. This is Sagittarius's card. And when a Sagittarius is upset, they get all whiny. They get all bitchy. They get all mean. They don't necessarily care about your feelings. Sagittarius has a reputation of being a bit much. You know, much, much. Like... You need to, like, take it down from, like, that 20 down to a 10 where it's regular much. No, it's the, And this is, like, someone is way too in their emotions about this family situation. Someone, it, it's like someone doesn't want this anymore. Or someone got tired of this shit. Or someone's finding. Oh. Maybe I was wrong, Grape One. Maybe. It's not that you're trying to verify a wish fulfillment as much as it is a self-fulfilling prophecy where you know, you know, you know. Yeah, look at this. There is an offer in all of this, a brand new start, something possibly financial, but nobody's got the energy to move forward with it. Someone's stalling. Someone doesn't want to put the passion in it anymore. That's why they're not talking, and that's why they're going away. All, like, this entire row right here is just going away. Like, even these people over here are looking this way. The only one who isn't is the wish person, the wish fulfillment. And it's just kind of like, you know, and, and, and judgment, but it's like, um, the clouds offered something, but someone doesn't have enough passion to do anything with it. Someone doesn't want to have the passion. They'd rather just take off and go. But they're sitting there worried about, like, the other person just being happy that they're gone. While there's a door open right here. Like, someone's got the door open, but someone's still worried about a breakup where someone will just walk out. And it's just kind of like, you know, you can't go and keep um, pushing people. Well, you can't keep going and saying things about people and then expect them to still stick around. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I feel like. I feel like someone has run their mouth so much that they finally realize, oh, wait, maybe this is, like, not the smartest thing to do. Because now the person doesn't want it. Like, you know, you can only talk shit about somebody for so long before they decide, you know what? Maybe you really don't care a shit about me. I don't give a fuck what you say you do. Um... Okay, so this is weird, but, I, like, third-party situation at work. Like, usually this is about talent scenes, having people to guide you in making whatever. But I feel like this monk is staring way too hard at this dude to be like, I know you touched her. Like, yeah, almost like someone... I don't know why I'm getting, like, someone possibly had an affair with a co-worker. Then that's the main issue. Like, the, like there's an offer here. This King of Pentacles is offering this offer, but someone doesn't want it because they were involved with someone else at work, which is like weird, right? But 
We're going to move on to group two and maybe they'll help clear the air. Because I really feel like group one, you're like kind of part of the problem. I hate to say that, but it's like someone does... I, I, like, I don't know how to read that. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. But I just feel like someone is causing somebody to, um... Want to leave. Now, what the hell could possibly take 10 DVDs? Oh, that is the whole Buck Rogers of the 21st century. It is literally like a 60s show that has, like, more sexism in it than... Oh my god, is that what they were making fun of when Daffy Duck did Duck Dodgers? Yeah, that's the entire fucking series. Rogers? Yeah, that's the entire series of it. <laughs> and it's all... of the 21st century, they thought of Daffy Duck just going, Duck Dodgers! Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Buck Rogers of the 21st century. That's And well, it's, like, so... You have ten discs of it in there. Yes. That was such a great series. I've never heard of Buck Rogers, and so I'm like, what in the hell could possibly take ten discs? My goodness. He found, like, my nerd collection. They're mixed in with my CDs? That's so fair. Well, there's actually probably a couple of them in here. I see a Pocalyptica. Yes! That's actually a CD of theirs. I need it in order to get a song. There's more than one disc inside of here, too. There's a red one. A red one? Hold on one second. Sorry. Sorry. Like, my husband started looking through CDs, you like, things of our yesteryear, and it was just like, ooh, what all did I collect? This is going to be cool going through a whole photo album or something. Right. All right. Group two, let's get started with you. No whammies. Okay. Should have read those three, but it's okay. You got Nine of Swords reversed. Crash. Yeah, that's kind of how it's like. Uh, six of Wands reversed in the Wants and Wishes. Knight of Pentacles in the Fears and Rejections. Ooh. Ten of Cups in the Situation. Okay. Um... When it comes against you and your obstacles and challenges, is strength reverse restricting yourself? Hmm. Eight of Wands in the Catalyst as well as the final result. And the beginning theme for you is King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone who is very much able to look at his cup, be into his emotions and stuff. His problem is so that he pays way more attention to his own cup than everybody else's. He's too busy being like, hmm. I decorated this cup and to realize that he's on a desert island and there's no one coming to get him. <laughs> like, all, all by himself. Trying to keep your emotions in check, right? Okay. So, group two. Let's see what the cards say about you. Nine of Swords. Mental torment. Having a hard time sleeping at night because there's too much shit on your brain. Right? So this could be you, Cancer, since King of Cups is right here. It's like your mind is just stuck on something. Right? Yeah, moving forward, here is Cancer's card. Here you are, Cancers. Your mind is stuck on moving forward to gain balance. It's actually driving you insane. Hmm. But then we got the Ten of Cups down here, which is your happiness. Like the happily ever after. But you're feeling left out in the cold. Like if it's with your family, you're feeling left out in the cold. Left with somebody you don't want to be around. Feeling like you got abandoned with like this guy who represents liabilities, disabilities, challenges. Just baggage you're dragging behind you. Like no matter how fast you move with the chariot, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I probably put, yeah, it's probably something or whatever, I don't know. I'll check it out later. It, it's got to be something that I put in there for a reason. Yeah, by the way, sorry to whoever's watching this, because I'm going to keep interrupting Faith the end of find, so. He will. Six of Wands Reverse. There's a lack of victory. Possibly an enemy in your house, group two. It's like, why, would, why, why do you want this person? They're not good for you. They're coming against you. And they have people with them. 
Like this person is worshipped by other people. They're not on your side. They're coming with an offer. You want an offer from somebody who's against you? <laughs> Are you knuts? Sir or in man? Why would you want an offer from someone who's against you? That makes no sense. Like, if you're wanting something from um, group one, let me tell you, like, I don't know if you want it. Like, you're restricting yourselves, but that's the wrong idea. Or you're restricting yourselves for the wrong idea. And your obstacles and challenges coming against you with strength reverse. Possibly Leo involved here. But it's like you're restraining yourself because, like, Either you think that's the... Oh, God, actually, um... Those are two aces. So, like... Either you find victory by not accepting an offer or turning down this offer from somebody, or you get your strength by seeing the truth of the situation. Or you're keeping your strength up because you do see this, the truth of the situation, and you feel like holding yourself back will help it, which is really what's against you. So it could be either or, since there are two aces up here. I almost didn't notice that, but yeah. Like, one of them is false, and I think this ace of swords is false. I think you know, group two, what's going on? You just keep lying to yourself. And you're restraining yourself with that. Um, Knight of Pentacles. It's weird. It's like that restraint is what's keeping you bound because the longer you hold yourself back, the less truth you're going to get, right? Oh, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You're afraid that the person offering is on the lookout in order to start shit with you, which is basically what um, Group 1 w was doing. They were, um, yeah, if this is Group, oh God, with that King of Pentacles. Okay. Group one and group two. I feel like whoever is giving out this offer to whoever is the one with the bad intentions. With who's spreading this bad, ill gossip and hypercriticism around being immature, being impulsive with their words, not really giving a fuck. Purposely causing shit. Like so Cancer, if you're dealing with somebody, someone's definitely fucking with your head. Somebody could not spell. I have a copy of Disturbed, the Sickness. That better not be in my handwriting. I don't know whose handwriting this is. It's spelled like Disturbed. Look at it. The Sickness. Disturbed. Disturbed. Are you Disturbed? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's what I'm going to use from now on. Are you Disturbed? Is that your handwriting? No, that's where that came from. No, if it was mine, you wouldn't be able to read it. Somebody like left at my house, or like we just, you know, you come up on CDs. Right? Yeah. Like this is a fear of rejection, right? You're afraid that whoever is offering this is the one talking the nonsense, which I think you're correct about. Like you could take this offer from the person, but it's all they're offering you is more garbage. So it's just kind of like, ah. Uh, because group one makes me feel like, you know, they don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, and like with this eight of wands, this woman's waiting for a message in order to harvest, to move forward, right? But someone's waiting on someone to either give them words, acknowledge them, or some shit like that, but... This is behind the curtain of getting everything they want. Like, they're projecting that they're getting whatever they want. And it's hubris because they're still out in the cold and they still don't know what the fuck to do. And they feel as though they need to move forward because they're, like, almost under anxiety or some shit like that, right? Which is, like, um, if that's the case, fucking go. <laughs> like, why are you sticking around an area? Yeah, and if this is you, Cancer, you are keeping your guard up. If this is not you, Cancer, someone's keeping their guard up against you because you look too good to be true. Like, that's the issue. Either Cancers, you are trying to protect yourself, and if it's the other person, they feel like they need to protect themselves against you because you are right now in your king mode. And to me, water is the most immature ruler 
So it's like, you look good, you look pretty, but as soon as your emotions are nettled, you're a danger. It could be either or, so I really don't know who's who. Someone either has anxiety about this cancer, or it's the cancer tra having anxiety trying to move forward. It could be either or, but either way, it's like you two are kind of mirroring each other. Three, one, three, two. Neither, like, I can't read either way which one of y'all are doing what, but it's like, I don't think anybody's doing the right thing in this situation. What are the advice cards for group two? This isn't going to work. <laughs> it's not working. <clears throat> it's not working. Something is not... There's not enough effort being put in. There's not enough... Details being put into all of it. Like, nothing is working the way it's supposed to. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, like I said, for group one. The second of this part. Oh, I got four. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, nothing's turning either. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, yeah, like, nothing's moving forward at all. Like, group two, if you're trying to hold up your strength because of this false thing, um, where you believe that this person who's against you has everybody having their back or whatever, like, and they're making the offer, like, that's not happening. That is not happening at all. That's not moving forward. <clears throat> um, if you're the person who's making the offer, the person who's against group one or whatever, or you're the person who is trying to do group two the dirty, um, it's like, it's like there are a bunch of people who are with this person to make an offer, but the offer won't do anything. It's not going to change anything. Like, if you're waiting for this person who you feel did you dirty to give you an offer, that's not happening. That's the wrong idea. Then we got two of them. Yeah. Um, this door is going to be left open because there's nothing to complete. Like, this is incomplete. This is unfinished business. This is lack of closure. Um, someone's leaving the door open for somebody. Possibly somebody they believe is um, on the lookout spying on them or some shit. But, there, but nothing's happening with it. This is the entire reading for your side. Like, for both of you. It's like you both are expecting the other person to do something. But nothing's happening. What? What was that? Was that a kitty cat? Okay. It was a kitty cat. But yeah. It's like neither one of you two are really, um... Even trying to communicate on the same level. Someone's got a lack of patience and someone's just on guard too much. And it literally could be reverse. So, that was your reading. Y'all, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day. If you want a personal reading, hit me up in my email in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.